everything's going to be liquid. And we are doing a feature on this show today around securities tokens. Scott, I'm coming back to you. Any other tokens, protocols that you're looking at at the moment which excite you? Um, we still believe in protocols. Um, as, as you've seen, the most important projects in the space since, since Satoshi um, have been blockchain-based protocols. So EOS, Hashgraph, um, you know, uh, Metahash is another new one. They're, they're, they're coming out. I'm going to stop you there for a second. Yes. EOS is trading at a market capitalization of $17 billion. It's a test net. Is a $17 billion valuation justified for a test net? I, I can't argue for justifiable valuation. I mean, I'm an investor. Full things. disclosure, I'm an investor. Yes. Here's what I will tell you. We believe, many, of, many in the investment community believe, that we have no idea what the winning protocol is going to be. No idea. But we do believe that the winning protocol, whichever it is, will have a market capitalization in the trillions of dollars. So based on the idea that you can place bets strategically on different protocols, hoping that one of those bets becomes the, the one to rule them all. Um, I, I knew Jeremy would get that one. Um, that, would be, uh, that would be our bet. $17 billion market cap, token price of seventeen fifty. Are you buying? Um, I've been buying, I've been long on EOS. Uh, I, it, it is one of my favorite protocols in the world. Hashgraph, coming on, on raising capital today on a market valuation of $6 billion. Are you buying? 100%, yes. Jeremy, I see you're smiling and it looks like you've got a lot to say. So, EOS? I, I won't go into specific protocols. Let's just talk about the market. It's irrationally exuberant. Like, I came into this conference today depressed. And the reason why I came in depressed was because there were too many people at this conference. There were too many booths and, you know, too many people sitting in front of me right now. The, 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 the fact of the matter is, is that what happened in March when the market went down 70% it wasn't nearly enough, clearly. I mean, there are just way too many people in this room right now to possibly demonstrate that the shakeout we needed occurred. The only way this market is truly going to mature is when people lose a lot of money and there is a massive shakeout. Because when test nets are valued at $17 billion, you know there's something wrong. Yes, I agree with Scott that 100% some of these protocols will be worth trillions of dollars. But in the short term, it, it's, it's totally irrational. Most of them are going to zero. And right now, we have rabid enthusiasm for technology that nobody is using. So you're calling a big decline, but are you buying or investing in any protocols? Do you have any protocols? Oh, so, are you saying? so I'm a total bull right now. I, I, like, I, 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 like, I, I think the market's totally going up. I mean, I, I thought there was going to be this crypto winter uh, that was triggered in March, and, but there's not a single index that I would point to to, to demonstrate a bear market uh, being sustained. We're totally going back up. OTC markets are crazy. Multi-billion dollar bids left and right. I'm going to put you down. I, I want some names of tokens. I want, I want to know what Jeremy is investing in. I want to know what excites oh. Jeremy. So, so my bets are the same as always for the most part. I, I mean, there are obviously a few new ones, but you, you stay with the main states. You go with Bitcoin. You go with Ethereum. They're the, they're the ones that do really well in bull markets. I've got a NEOS position. I like quantum. Protocols are really good bets. Filecoin, I'm holding my entire position from the pre-sale. Uh, and then there are a few utility tokens that I really like. Uh, Augur, it's a decentralized prediction market. Well, uh, you market. created that token. Yeah, that, I, I, they, they, was, they've got a big announcement coming out today. Uh, and it, and that, 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 in my view, is the best utility token. There's a new project called True Story. I, I love Basecoin, the stable coin. Uh, but most of these tokens, the, the vast majority of my investment thesis revolves around the protocols. Because once again, those are what are going to put the trillion dollars. Scott. They agree with me. So it's funny that he concluded with that because that's exactly what I've been preaching is that you can try to find the diamond in the rough and do all this extra research and all this work. But at the end of the day, uh, when it comes to these bull markets, if you stick with the big boys, you're, you're still going to do fine. And 
obviously I do believe in diversification, so I don't think it's a good idea to only be even invested in three coins, four coins, five coins. I do feel like um, you should definitely, after doing some research and being comfortable, obviously have some smaller cap coins and have a diverse portfolio. And if it hits the moon, great. If it doesn't, it's no big deal because if you stick with those larger coins, they should give you enough rate of return that if two or three of your coins are demolished or absolute garbage, it's okay. It all balances out. Um, and at the same time, like I said, I think that the great thing about crypto and because this is a new market, you should be educating yourself. You should be trying to find uh, your own opportunities. If you're here on YouTube already watching these videos and uh, if you're subscribed and following to this channel, um, there's going to be plenty of opportunities and the best way to learn is through experience. So uh, you're going to have to go and invest some money, um, get your hands dirty. Like I said, I wouldn't put in a large amount, especially if you're brand new to this market, but definitely learn, definitely uh, have a little bit of uh, capital in there so you can kind of see what happens. And for the most part, be careful because um, I love sharing the content for Crypto Trader, but there's a lot of just scammers and BS in crypto uh, when it comes to YouTube. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I completely agree with his uh, investment strategy for 2018, um, and I'm, I'm sticking with the big boys, but let me know what coins you guys like, and I will talk to you guys soon.